In this video, we are going to discuss what is superheat and subcooling and how important it is in HVAC. Most people in the HVAC industry are not familiar with superheat and subcooling. But it is important to be aware of this. There are many chances to be asked about this in interviews. First, let's see what is superheat and subcooling. Then, let's know its use in HVAC. Let's take some water. When this water is heated, the temperature of the water keeps increasing. Water begins to boil when its temperature reaches 100 degrees Celsius. Because the boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius. After water starts boiling, it changes from liquid to vapor. If we continue to heat the water, even after it starts boiling, the temperature of the water will go above 100 degrees Celsius. Thus, heating of water above its boiling point is the superheat. Its formula, superheat is equal to current temperature minus boiling point temperature. Now, the current temperature of water is 107 degrees Celsius and the boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius. So, superheat is 7 degrees Celsius. Now, let's see about subcooling. Subcooling is the opposite process of superheat. That is, subcooling occurs in condensation process, as superheat occurs in evaporation process. When hot water vapor is cooled, it changes from vapor state to liquid state. Subcooling means cooling the vapor below the temperature at which the vapor begins to liquefy. For example, we cool a vapor that may be 120 degrees Celsius. The temperature of the vapor decreases during cooling. At 100 degrees Celsius, the vapor begins to condense into water. Subcooling is cooling the vapor below this temperature. Subcooling formula is, subcooling is equal to condensation temperature minus current temperature. So, subcooling is equal to 100 subtract 90 is equals 10 degrees Celsius. Now you know what subcooling and superheat mean. Now, let's see what is its role in HVAC. Before that, subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so yet. If you have any doubts after watching the video, ask in the comments section. Share this video to others. Let's take refrigeration cycle. In refrigeration cycle, we use compressor to make refrigerant travel throughout this cycle. This is what we already know. We have explained this clearly in previous videos. In this cycle, the refrigerant comes in vapor state inside the compressor. It compresses the refrigerant well, which can come in vapor state and increases its pressure and sends it out. We can only compress vapor. We cannot compress liquid. Liquid is an incompressible thing. Inside the compressor, if the refrigerant comes not only in the vapor state but also in the liquid state, when the compressor compresses the refrigerant, it will try to compress the liquid refrigerant as well. As liquid refrigerant cannot be compressed, there are many chances of compressor failure. So, the entire refrigerant, before entering the compressor, should be in vapor state only. So, when the refrigerant is superheated, above its boiling point, before entering the compressor, the entire refrigerant turns into vapor. To measure this, we can get the superheat value by subtracting the temperature of the refrigerant at the outlet of the evaporator and the boiling point of the refrigerant. Now let's know about subcooling. Subcooling takes place in the condenser. Refrigerant that comes in vapor form from the compressor becomes condensate in the condenser and changes from vapor state to liquid state. Then it goes to the expansion valve. Refrigerant should go only in liquid state while going to expansion valve. Only then we can get well cooled air from evaporator. When the refrigerant is super cooled beyond its condensate point in the condenser, it liquefies completely. 
By measuring the temperature of the refrigerant at the outlet of the condenser and subtracting it from the condensate point of the refrigerant, we can get the value of subcooling. Important points that can be covered in this topic are Superheat is the heating of a liquid beyond its boiling point. Subcooling is the cooling of vapor beyond its condensate point. Superheat takes place in the evaporator. Subcooling takes place in the condenser. Refrigerant should only go in vapor state while going inside the compressor. Because only vapor can be compressed. Liquid cannot be compressed. This is the explanation of superheat and subcooling. If you need more videos like this, please let me know in the comments section. Thank you.